Hello YouTube, it's Course, aka Free P, aka Carvin, aka Rebel Red, aka I think that's it. I think I've shortened it down. I said I was gonna shorten them down. Oh, Nova. So it's Course, Nova, Cancer Boy eighty five, Corey P, Rebel Red. Nope. Five names. We we down to five. I had to narrow them down, honey. Because it was just a little too much. I'm going to probably try to narrow them down to three. I'm going to try to decide which ones I really like. I'm thinking Coors, Nova, and Rebel Red are going to be my three. So that way we have a set name. <laughs> name of names. Mm, excuse me. But anywho, I got on here today because I want to talk about a few things. Um, you know, Nora, I don't really do reviews. Because every time, like, I be... I'm thinking about, ooh, that's something I want to do. I missed the first episode, and then I'll be trying to catch up, and then I just wouldn't want to do a review afterwards. I don't know. But I really do want to discuss what I saw on Love & Hip Hop episode 6. Just a few things. Um, really two things, because it was really two things that really, three things that really got on my nerve while watching the show. Um, let's first get into Miss, um, what's the new girl, Tracy or whatever everybody call her, Baby Bop. Didn't realize she really does look like Baby Bop until somebody said something. Until I heard that. And then I looked her in her face and I was like, you know something, she does look like Baby Bop. Anyway. But, girl, that whole, first of all, it's clear like, anybody can see that you are not over this man. I don't know why, because it's been damn near 10 years. But, I mean, girl, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm a cancer. So, I know about clinging on to the past, honey. Like, so I can't give you too much. I don't know what's your zodiac sign. But if you're a cancerian woman, it would make a whole lot more sense. But still, with that being said, girl, I'm really going to need for you to get a handle on all of that, okay? Because you were acting pressed, jealous. I mean, you were just hot and bothered from the gate. When you saw these girls standing there waiting to be interviewed, you just, you was doing the rock away, honey. You was ready to go in. Like, you could tell. I mean, and, and, and oh, boy, yeah. He was definitely trying to get under your chain with asking about these back tattoos and stuff. But... Instead of you going off, what you should have did was you should have took the straight man role. Like, okay, he wants to be playful and flirty. I'm going to bring it back to, do you know how to work, run a business? I mean, girl, like, come on, because that was the question deep asked, honey. You know, do you know how to run a store? Do, I mean, have you customer service? I mean, you should have been the one running it back to serious. But instead, you wanted to play the jealous bitch role. And, you know, girl, and a lot, a lot of people think, like, the girl... First of all, these three girls, honey, clearly not dressed right for an interview. I'm sorry, girl. The one in the red titties, I think the the one Asian girl, the one fully Asian girl was the one who was the most appropriate out of the three. Um, but the two, like the one in the blue jacket and the white pants, I just wasn't able to do it for you, girl. Like, I was trying to get with the look. It would have been cute had the pants been the right size had you got, like, a longer shirt. Because the jacket and, like, the ensemble as a whole was cute. It just needed to be a, you know what I'm saying? It just needed some critiques. And your critiques are, those pants were too fucking tight. Every dimple, every roll in your ass cheek, I saw it. Not cute. So, girl, I mean, be mindful of that. Okay, girl? Especially when you ain't got, you know, <laughs> smooth lines. Okay, girl? Like, you know, you got a little dimple or a little lump here and there. You might want to not be like skin tight because it shows everything it's okay to have form-fitting clothes i'm all about a form-fitting clothes but people people confuse form-fitting with tight as hell form-fitting it fits you it's just closely fit to your body it you know accentuates your silhouette it gives you that you know it just makes everything look cute but at the same time it you don't look stuffed you don't look uncomfortable it just looks like it fits you know what i'm saying she clearly didn't understand that um, this thing in the red, girl, your titties, girl, I mean, it was just a lot of titties, a lot of titties, I mean, but, you know, hey, what, like, clearly, it was, I think they were just there because it was gonna be on TV, but, you know, still, um, 
But yeah, out of all those, the, the one girl who was like fully Asian, because you know, like they all looked a little mixed and shit, but the one who was like, I am, she said, I don't know if she said Vietnamese and Laos or something, but she was clearly Asian. Because I remember he kept saying it was a whole lot of noodles, you know, that was a little offensive. But, you know, she clearly was just trying to be like, okay, <laughs> I'm just trying to get this job, girl. You know, she was clearly like, I'm, I'm willing to let that one slide. But anyway, honey, pressed. Tracy, I think that's her name. Is her name Tracy? I can't remember. Pressed, girl. Pressed. Pressed. Depressed. Repressed. Suppressed. Oppressed. You were just pressed. And it just was, it didn't make any sense. It really didn't. Like, I mean, I, I get it. You know, he's your baby father. But, girl, he's not your man. Like, he's your baby father. And that's, we really need to just really end that standard, like, for some reason, baby mothers really think that that's, like, the title to have. No, bitch. You stuck with a child by a man who don't really want you. I mean, I wouldn't want that. Would you, Bella? No, looking right, honey, I got fixed. <laughs> I don't even have those problems. But, yes, girl, like, you acting like, and you acting like this baby is just, like, the way to ring him in, honey, he is. In a minute, girl, he about to just write you a check for that for old boy and just say, you know what, girl, there'll be another one in the month, you know, and, and I'll come pick, you know, have him have him outside, you know, on the porch with his bag on, on Saturday morning or Friday evening, and I will come and scoop him up, and we ain't got to talk. Because you know he's at that point. Well, right now he kind of enjoys, really he secretly enjoys the fact that she is still, like, ape shit over him. But honestly, girl, she, he, she don't want you. You know, she she is too busy running around chasing everything, you know, with a pretty face, a fat ass, some titties, and a coochie, like, or lack thereof. I don't know. You know some of these boys get down. Um, but this thing, you know, like, the girl, she had every right to ask the question, because if I'm coming in a situation, and it's just, and then, you know, she's calling these girls hoes. I mean, girl, you, you look, you look stupid, and you sound dumb. <laughs> okay, like... You just, now Miss Thing was talking about a degree, I mean, I, I really wanted her to quit, like, girl, I mean, stop it. I mean, I, and congratulations if you don't have that degree, but girl, okay, you know that, okay. But, um, okay, so moving right along from her, but yes, Miss Baby Bob, she was tripping. It wasn't a good look, and I'm really, like, I don't even know why you keep trying to, and then, like, her sister was, you know, let her know, like, you ain't gotta have, you know, you ain't, you don't have to go in business with this nigga, you can do your own thing, go find a, somebody else you can do business with, if you're trying to get some extra money, like, fuck this nigga, like, you know, you, you just really ain't trying to let that shit go, and, you know, of course, and like all girls in denial, it was rebuttal after rebuttal after rebuttal, but he's really good. He has a head for business. That's nice. A lot of people have heads for business. Go find somebody else with a head for business, girl. Maybe then you can get a head for business and get some head at the same time. I mean, girl, you never know how those things work out. You can find you a, a new business partner. He could end up being the love of your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be something like that. I mean, or you could just end up making a shit ton of money and then be the love of your life. You just don't know. Excuse me. <coughs> you're too busy running behind this, this old light-skinned nigga who ain't even that cute. You know, I mean, with all honesty, he ain't even all that to look at. I mean, I know that's your bae, but that was your bae. And to you, he's going to be him. Everything about him is going to be cute and beautiful and wonderful. He's about your child. I get it. But, girl, the fact of the matter is, honey, he does not want you. Okay, honey, he is, he is running behind all these other bitches. He clearly ain't thinking about you. And it's okay, girl. You are pretty. And you have your own money. And you got a job. Girl, you are doing your thing. Go get you a man who will worship the ground you walk on and will lick your toes and probably eat the box every every on 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 command. So, girl, get you somebody and, and will be a good father to your to your son. You know, a good stepfather, because you know, regardless of everything, oh boy, seems to have a really good rapport with his son. So, you know, I will give him that. Hope, hope whoremongering aside, girl. I mean, I'm not even judging because he's single. He's not married, but you know extracurricular activities aside, he does make time for his child. So, you know, at the end of the day, girl, you know, and, and be, you should be happy with that. At least, at least that. Because there's some niggas who ain't even doing that shit. There's some niggas who still claim that their children ain't theirs. Clearly, 
looking like them, but it ain't theirs. Okay. Now, the next, moving right along, because, honey, yes. Um, the next person I want to talk about is punk ass Kurt and his wife, Rashida, aka the Georgia Prune that people eat up. Y'all, I don't know why they keep calling her Georgia Prune. I mean, I see it. But Kurt, girl. I mean, I kind of get what Kurt is saying. I think he's thinking about the whole starting up the store. But, I mean, the store is doing more for you guys than Rashida's career as a rapper. Because when was the last time she, she had a top 10 Billboard hit? 2003. 10 years ago. And it was only one song. It wasn't even an album. It was just one song. I mean, I think she came out. I don't know if she came out with an album, but I know that's the one song that everybody was singing. So, um, yeah, girl, like, her music career really ain't popping. And then she's somebody mama. You know, she married. I mean, really, I mean, not to say that you can't be married and a mother and have a, a career of music. I think, like, for female rappers, it's kind of like a a dichotomy. It's kind of like a dilemma because female singers can do that all day. You can be married. You can have kids and still have your career and still sell your records. Even though a lot of singers are urged not to talk about that. You know, like Beyonce doesn't even wear her red ring and you know, when she's out on her, you know, publicity. Because, you know, she wants to look appealing and available. But we all know that whole married. And guess what? She's still doing her thing. But, um, with female rappers, I think it's a little different. And then she's somebody, mama, I mean, you know, I'm really not trying to hear her talk about putting it on and make them want to marry me. I mean, okay, that's nice. That is lovely. But, you know, I just think, you know, she's really thinking about, okay, girl, she's, she's, she's thinking really, like, honey, this store is making us money. We, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he just, he is so adamant about her getting on this diss record with Kylie Red. It's just like, girl, who wants to sing with us? I mean, that, that is, that is a bad idea. Hashtag worst idea ever, Kurt. Like, just that whole thing, like, you trying to, and secretly it's because he secretly wants to read K. Michelle because, you know, it's a diss record for K. Michelle. And it's just like putting Rashida on that will put her further and further and further down into whackness. Like, don't do that. Don't do that to her. Like, you see, you you really, if you if you feeling that hard about it, why don't you get on the diss track and write you a, and have Rashida write you out a little bar and let you do it? Because clearly, you the one who really wants to get at K. Michelle. I just don't get it. Like, just let that shit go. Like, and then like you know when she. And what killed me is when she told him she was pregnant, honey, he went into straight bitch nigga mode. Like, I can't stand no bitch ass nigga. I cannot. I can't stand people who don't accept responsibility for their shit. And I damn sure can't stand nobody who just straight up act like a bitch. Like a man. Like a man who acts like a bitch. Not like in the sense of a feminine man. Like, I don't mind feminine men. I love feminine men. I'm talking about like a man who, when it's time to be an adult, and it's time to, you know, accept, don't say accept responsibility for something you may have done or said or whatever or your part in a situation and you're just totally, like, putting it on the other person. Well, if you hadn't took your pills, you wouldn't have been in this situation. Like, that was, that was all he was doing. Well, um, well, how do I know it's really mine? I mean, you know, it's just like, nigga, we married. We, we've been busting nuts all the time, honey. It's just this time one call. Girl, like, ooh, child, I couldn't with Kurt. Like, Kurt, I'm not going to be able to do it with you, honey, because, like, see, that that there, that's that shit that nobody likes. And you just really acting like a pussy nigga. I can't take it. I can't deal. Like, can you see me? Like, I, he makes my booty itch. Like, he just really was pissing me off because I'm like, damn, nigga, like... I mean, like, what is, where did this come from? Like, I mean, honey, with, 
It just made me want to punch him in that damn ugly ass Adam's apple. Like he was really. I mean, he really. I mean, the faces he was giving was just like, man, I don't give a fuck. And what is that supposed to do? And now, I mean, I understand. Like maybe you, you know, this man, this pregnancy is coming at a bad time. But you know what? You know something? I was not playing. My my younger brother was definitely not playing, honey. But you know, guess what? You know, my mother and father did. They made do because they were married. You know, at the time they were still married. Even if they weren't, but they were still married. And you know, you know, ain't nobody say, ain't nobody point no fingers. Well, if you hadn't tried to sleep with me, then this wouldn't happen. Or you know, you the one who should have pulled out. You're the woman. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't none of that. It was just simply you pregnant. Okay, that's cool. Um, so how we gonna do this? You know, like basically that was the whole talk. How we gonna do this? Um, okay, I'm gonna go get a second job. Um. I know you don't really feel like asking for extra hours, but at least until you start really showing, let's get some extra hours so we can get some money saved up. Let's you know, let's plan up, let's plan a doctor's trip. Let's go ahead and get these appointments together. You got you know, and, you know, let's get these bills taken care of so we can have everything prepared for this baby. This is coming, you know, like basically my parents rolled up their sleeves, did what they had to do to make room for me, and then later on my brother. You know, so like all of that that she was given, like all of this, you know, these evasive but or these uh, aloof butch queen faces that you were given, I couldn't. I was just like, Kurt, you're a bitch. Like I really, I'm losing more and more respect for Kurt. Like that, actually, I've lost all respect because it was just like to do that, not cool, not cool, bro. Like, to your wife, that's not cool. She ain't some. You know, she ain't one of these little whole girls that, you know, you was fucking on the side. Like, this is your wife. Like, this is the woman you married. She put it on you and you married it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, girl, to be acting like that, that's a real bitch move. And I'm going to need you to just get it all the way together. Um, who else? So, I'm so oh, and last but not motherfucking least is the whole K. Michelle, Mimi, Arian, Nico and Johnny Chrome, honey, because I have looked him up. I ain't see no shit about him being gay, but did again, I don't put that. That'll be that. No, he may not. I mean, but then again, he's not really like a famous person. He's just apparently in the gay black circles. He's been known to dip, dip and dabble, if you will. I don't know, cause I've never seen this nigga. But then again, I don't hang out like that. Like I'm down in these streets like that, so I don't know. Hold on. But I just feel like this. Like, a lot of people might say, like, Kim Michelle's wrong. I feel like the conversation was going to be had regardless. I just feel like maybe she should have waited till they got in the car, <laughs> you know, on the way back. I mean, but the conversation was had. I mean, it did. It wasn't like it was over disrespectful. It wasn't, she, it wasn't like she was just like, yeah, that Johnny, he a faggot girl. Like, I don't know, you up here sucking dick, girl. I, mm-mm. You know, Kim Michelle is just no. You know, she's she has has half a filter. You know, she just she was just like, hey, I heard he was gay. Why is he on this shoot? You know, I mean, granted, she was she probably was a little too loud, so that was another one. But she was just like the country girls, honey. She's from Tennessee. I know I'm from Alabama, honey. And country girls surround sound, <laughs> especially when it comes to telling your business, honey. That's when they just, it seems like they voice is just projecting all over the place. But anyway, I mean, I do feel like even though that was maybe the conversation, like, should have been had away from the set, <laughs> um, you know, it was had, and, but I just felt like the way Johnny and Nico handled it was nothing short of Butch Queen, <laughs> I mean, I get it. You don't you don't like when people talk shit about you, and that's fine. If you could have pulled her to the side and just say, you know, I just wanted to say I didn't appreciate that. It's cool, you know. If you really was feeling stuff away, but to just come up, run up on her and just, you know, you guys are chitter chattering. That's what tipped me off. Like I don't, you know, I don't too much read into rumors. Sometimes, you know, um, I mean, you know, for the most part, I'm not really like. I gossip a little bit, but I don't gossip like that, so I don't really care. 
especially with this genochrome. I don't, girl, I don't really care. Um, but what tipped me off was just that how you approached it, and then you kept saying chitter chattering, and for some reason that was just giving me all types of rainbows, and you know it was just like, you know, if there's some chitter chattering between you and your girls, you know it was just like, honey, I mean, girl, I'm sorry that she called you gay. I really am. On behalf of her, I would like to apologize. I'm sorry she called you gay, but the girl, but the way you is getting all tight in the neck, I'm really gonna need for you to chill, okay? <laughs> like. You know, I just feel like real straight men do not argue with females like that. I'm a gay man, and I don't argue with girls like that. Like, I just don't. Like, I mean, I just don't. It's not, I mean, it's not, not that I think that, you know, I'm better than a girl or nothing like that. Don't, you know, don't get twisted. I just don't argue with girls like that. Like, what's the purpose? You know, just as a man. Like, you know, as a man, why would you sit up there and just go back and forth with a female? Like, you know, and then, you know, even if you felt like stuff, you felt just way, you should have pulled it to the side and just talked to her and just, you know, really got that. But no, you wanted to cause, like, you know, just like the queen, you wanted to cause the scene, you wanted to just, you know, let it be all out. And it's just like, you could have pulled her to the side. You could have, you could have shot her a text, an email. You could have just said, you know, to, to Mimi, or, you know, one day, just like, girl, you know, I really did appreciate your friend. You know, you, it's a lot of ways you could have handled that more discreetly like you handle your sexuality um but instead but the, the one time that you want to be out in the open is when you know of course when somebody is you know <laughs> putting your shit out on the, on the on the i get you girl but you know that's the giveaway is how you handle it, it you know girl scandals and, and rumors since the beginning of time girl they have always been around since you know humans have started developing language but the way you handled it was just how I determined, okay, girl, that might be a little suspect. Because you was just really, really just, you know, you was just doing a lot. And I just feel like Mimi, all that jumping and yelling. First of all, girl, I thought you was a man when you was yelling like that. <laughs> Honey, her feet was square apart, shoulders up. I mean, voice deep as fuck. Like, girl. I couldn't, I, I couldn't deal. <laughs> Once again, this is, this is the saying for the day. Hashtag, I can't deal. I just can't. <laughs> Hashtag, can't deal. You know, I couldn't deal. I just couldn't. I, I mean, girl, every time, every time I do something, it's a bunch of bullshit. Ah. Okay, girl. I mean, you know what I mean? I like you. You're gorgeous. I really want you to you know, move forward, especially from Stevie J ass. And I met you once, you know, you were very nice, you were very sweet. But girl, all of that <laughs> girl, what was all that? I mean I was like Arian, like, honey, why are you yelling at me? Like, girl, I didn't do this shit. Okay, like calm all of that down. You know, I get it though, girl. Like I get it. You you know, you just wanted to have a cool, peaceful day. But in that case you should have been yelling at Miss Johnny Chrome, because honey, she, I mean, her aunt, him, her aunt came to show, really. Came to show for just bringing the shit up. Not yell, but you know, you should have been like, come on, Kay, like, that ain't cool, I'm bringing it right now, you know, these niggas gonna get upset. You should have just gave her one of them. And then for Johnny Chrome, you should have just been like, bruh, like, niggas, niggas and bitches talk about you. So what? Like, you know who you are, you know who, you know what you do, you know what you about. Suck that shit up. And keep it moving. Like, you know, but he didn't do that. And, you know, and even when Kim, and then and, and Nico talking about he'll end somebody's career, girl, who are you? I've been in Atlanta for a long time. I ain't never heard your ass. Okay, so I don't know whose career you think you finna end, but girl, you not. Do you even have a deal? Because apparently Kim Michelle has a deal. She's with Atlantic now. Where's your deal? Who represents you? Yeah, I didn't think so. So yeah, um, I just I, I mean I did I don't know that that was my critiques. Uh, I think that was it. I think that's all I want to talk about today, or at all really. I mean everything else is pretty, you know, kosher in my life. Um, having not issue. 
It's like a little silent war in the house. It's not a war. I mean, we're not warring. And I don't have time to be warring with no daddy. But it's just a silent issue about dishes. And just, it's not really about dishes. It's about mutual respect and just, you know, consideration for everybody up in her. And, you know, I'm not going to name no names, but, you know, certain people in their house, you know, they've just been really just trying to lay down the rules, trying to, uh, you know, just be a little, di- you know, controlling. And, you know, like, I keep trying to tell people, oh, he is cute. Okay. Mm, that face, girl, yes. Oh, that body. Oh, my God. Anyway, um, girl. I'm really having a chocolate fetish these days, you know, and there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I've never not liked black boys, but, you know, it's just like, over the past year or two, I've just been kind of dealing with others, if you will, and, like, you know, I just, I think I might bring it on back to black. I might be like, Amy Whitehouse, girl, I'm going back to black for a little bit, you know, just to keep, keep it fresh, keep it interesting, because I don't want to be, a, I'm not a snow queen. I don't want to be one of those girls that's always, like, it has to be white or nothing else, or it ain't right. Like, no, girl, it, it can be whatever it can be. But that thing that walking down there with that chocolate skin, girl, she was everything, honey. But anywho, um, like I was saying, there's like, it's, you know, it's just been, been trying to be a dick, not say a dictator, but, you know, oh, hey, let me, like, you know, just, I get what... This, the argument is, you know, it's, I guess it's just like, you know, keep the house clean, yada, yada, yada. I mean, in which, like I keep telling people, honey, for three motherfuckers that live up in here, like, I wish I, I, I think one day I'm, like, I'm going to get, like, one of, I'm gonna, when I get an actual camera camera, like, I'm going to walk around and show y'all what the fuck this shit is looking like. But, girl, I mean, do you see dirt anywhere? Do you see clothes and drawers and and all types of fuckery, no. Because I've never let me got that far, you know, honey. And I never will because I feel like you know we all share the space. But anyway, like you know, it's just I feel like some of the work lured has shifted. Like I feel like some people are feeling like you know they can just like they're exempt from their own rules, and it's not right. Because especially when you don't man want spearheading this campaign about, you know, and, and texting and, and, and threatening and, and, you know, like, you know, first of all, I would I didn't appreciate that. Sending me a text message talking about if this ain't done, I'm kicking bitches out. You ain't kicking shit out, honey, especially me. <laughs> you ain't kicking a motherfucking thing out, honey. I, I would like to see you try. I would like to see you try. No shade. I'm just saying, bro. But just sending sending messages like that. And, you know, just really pulling it every five minutes because you tell, you know, this person to clean up and I'm so over everybody not clean. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. But you just leave a sink full of fuckery and expect one of us to to, to clean up after you. And I just didn't appreciate that. So until you get the hint, they're going to still be in there, just so you know, if you ever come across this. I mean, they're still going to be in there because I'm not touching them. And I, you know, I think me and... Me and the other roommate, you know, he's about to move, actually. So, <laughs> he's actually got two days. But until, for those two days, honey, he won't be touching them either. So, you know, it's nothing personal. It's not, you know, I don't dislike you or anything like that. You know, we still cool in my book. It's just, you know, it's not going to play me like that. I'm not him. It's like, girl, you don't have no servants. My name is not. Abeline, and his name is not Minnie. We are not the help. Get your life, okay? So, with that being said, girl, I'm out. Deuces.